Right, how to make unsalted butter. I know a lot of you want to know how I make it uh, because it is the best raw fat uh, for your body, which helps lubricate your body and all that good stuff. Good for good health. <clears throat> right, this is done in a, uh, let me tilt the camera a bit. So this is done in a, like a two part process. Uh, what I used to do, so this is my milk, and as you can kind of see there, that's the cream. So this has been in the fridge for about probably 16 hours now. And the cream rises to the top, naturally. What I used to do is I used to scoop the cream off into uh, the blender and then I used to blend it straight away. That was, that was the old way. The new way, and the improved way, I think, is uh, I scoop the cream, which I'm going to do right now. So... Scoop the cream. There's three liters here. Three, one liters. So I used to scoop. I scoop the cream now off, and then I keep this jar, these two jars that I've got here, in the fridge, and let the cream thicken even more. So I'm like creaming, getting the cream off the milk, and getting from there getting the cream off the cream. So it's almost like thicker cream, which I find makes more butter and better butter. So you can give both ways a go, but I think this is the best way to do it. So scoop the cream off and then you can use your milk like right now. So yeah, nearly filled up a jar of like cream. You know, you're gonna get a bit of milk in there as well. Well, there's milk, but like normal milk. No one else drinks this, so I can I can double dip. Uh, right, right, first jar done of cream, as you can see. So now this will thicken even more, and it will even separate even more. And then you pour. To be honest, and saying that, you just pour everything in the in the blender, which you, which I'll show you in a tomorrow's video. Well, not tomorrow's video. This is a, it's a two part process, so I got my milk yesterday at midday, it's been in the fridge since then and now it is 10 o'clock in the morning the next day and then I'll make the butter the day after, uh, tomorrow. So it's a, it's a long, oh it's not long, it's only two day, two day thing. So you may not have butter for two days. Wow. And then you keep going. Butter is amazing. Raw and salted butter, you don't need to add salt to it because salt, I try to avoid salt. But butter is, is brilliant. Great raw uh, fat for lubricating your body, if you didn't know the raw fat lubricates your body. And it'll help you to absorb the sun and all that stuff. So, right, you will make a mess. So, make sure you clean it up so the mother doesn't come back angry. So, as you can see, two jars of cream. When I come back tomorrow and film, I will put this in the blender and you will see me make butter. All right, that's the video done for now. Right guys, part two. So it's been about 24 hours or so and I've got my cream here. Should be pretty, pretty thick. Yeah, looking good. So, now it's time to make the butter. So I've got this blender thing. I need to make it up. Put this thing on here. Any kind of like smoothie blender will do. Um, I've got we've got like a Nutri Ninja thing, but I don't know if that would uh, that would work to be honest. Um, so you can give it a go if you do, if you try a Nutri Ninja or like Nutri Blender, whatever they're called. Uh, just let me know if that works or not. So, turn this on. Cool. Right, simply pour the cream into. Look at that, that's a really thick cream. You can see that in there. Mmm, delicious. Put that in there. It's about, oh, about 400, 500 mils of uh, cream. Then you put that in there. And then you 
simply blend it up the wrong way. Right guys, so as you can see, I'll take the camera off. You can kind of see that it's like whipped cream now, um, which is all right. Yeah, like whipped cream, so it needs to keep going. It's been going for about, spinning for about two minutes now, so. Yeah, I'm gonna put it back on again. Should be done pretty, pretty soon, all right? Yes, guys, so it's done. As you can see, take this camera off. Right. You can see it is butter. See that, that's yellow. You can see there, butter. Butter there. So, what you need to do now is scoop it out. So what I do is I've got, where is it? A jar and like a spoon that's got like some gaps in it. So the, the buttermilk, oh, that is thick. That is good butter. So I scooped the cream on Thursday and now it's Saturday. So you could say like 24, 48 hours. 24 hours should be fine, but look at how much I get. Lots and lots of butter. This is how you do it guys. Pretty, pretty straightforward. You just need a blender. You need a bit of patience, obviously. And yeah, I, I let that blend up for about probably five minutes total. Maybe a bit more. The more I think, the better. And as you can see, I, you just drain it out so it becomes, when you put it in the fridge, it's actually thick, not just all soggy. So as you can see, I'm just like draining the milk, pushing it, pushing the butter, and the milk will drain out. And it will harden. But yeah, this is a brilliant uh, raw fat to help lubricate and hydrate the body properly and then I have still 800 mils of uh, of milk so what I do is a jar, a jar this is a one litre jar here and I simply just pour it back in and use it for smoothies milkshakes whatever drinking Amazing, 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 amazing. Awesome, there you go. That is how to make raw unsalted butter. Obviously I don't add any salt to it. That is the best raw fat you can have. Absolutely amazing. I use this uh, to combine with my meat. I put it in my milkshakes, my smoothies. And yeah, absolutely amazing. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed that video. See you in the next one, peace.